Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about how to collect hollyhock seeds for next season and also how to keep your hollyhock plant alive for another year and more. So this year I had two hollyhocks, one of which I grown from seed and this year they broke all the records and grew so tall that it even crossed our roof. It has probably gone around 10 feet height. I never had a hollyhock grow so tall before. I have already posted a video on how to grow them. The link will be in the description, you can see that. Anyways, when the flowering season is over, what you can do is collect the seeds for next year and grow them again. Or you can save your existing plant because hollyhocks can live for more than one year and up to three years. Here are the seed pots which you can see has now dried, so you can collect them. Inside it you will find these black little things which are the actual seeds that you need to save. So just prune off the brown seed pods. You can store them in an airtight container or you can wrap them in paper and save them in a dry place. Next year you can grow new plants from them. You can also save your plant for another year like I do. I usually have them for 3 years and after that they die and they bloom pretty much all year round. For that what you have to do is first prune all the seeds and dead flowers from the plant. Cut all of them and clean the entire plant. It will give your plant more energy to survive. My hollyhocks went so tall this year that I could not prune them so they are now exhausted. I will probably not save them this year. If you keep your plants they will probably flower all year long. My plants bloom even during the monsoon season. Now for the rest of the year what you have to do is protect them from heavy monsoon rain and extreme summer if you can. This will help them survive more. But even if you keep them outside they will still survive. Just make sure that you have good drainage and don't overwater them. If your plant is too tall then you can also cut them back a little too. You don't need to add any fertilizer the whole year. The only thing that you can add is some compost. Nothing else is necessary. And make sure you spray them with some pesticides because they can have a lot of mealybug and spider mite attacks. So be careful about that and prune any dry or diseased branch you see. From September they will start to grow more and flower more. So then you can start adding some compost and light fertilizers. Also report them if necessary and your plant will be good to go for another season. That is how you can save them the whole year. I hope this was helpful. You can check out my other videos in my channel and if you enjoyed the videos please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye.